In remote sensing, filters play an important role in processing. Filters can also be used to improve image quality. There are different types of filters such as high pass, low pass, and so on. In this tutorial, we are going to show you a number of the filters that are used in remote sensing. Before starting, we'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to our channel. First we import our image. Then we zoom in on our area, in this case, the fault, to process for this area. We apply radiometric correction to the image. We specify our area. And save the radiometric correction output. We remove the extra files. Then apply atmospheric correction to the image. Here we convert the image between 0 and 1 range using the following formula. Introduce the corrected image to get the surface reflectance output. Now it's time to apply filters to the image. To do this, we need to go to the Convolution and Morphology section.
In the open window, we select our filters using the convolution section. The first filter is the high pass filter. We can also determine different kernel sizes. This filter detects large differences in pixel value over short distances. The next filter is the low pass filter. We can enter our desired kernel size for all filters. The next filter is the Laplacian filter. The Laplacian filter detects large differences in pixel value over short distances. The next filter is the directional filter. Apply this filter with an angle of 0.5. The next filter is the Gaussian High Pass Filter. Large differences make the pixel value clearer in the short run. The next filter is the Gaussian Low Pass Filter. The next filter is the median filter.
The next filter is the Sobel filter. And finally, the Roberts Edge Detector Filter. <laughs> 